Hi guys, it's Sherry. I'm back. Who needs a bow when you can have a beautiful rosette? Y'all stay tuned. In the video from earlier today, I made this beautiful 3x3 notepad and on the top I had a rosette. And because I got so many questions on how to make a rosette, I decided I'd come back and do a very quick tutorial to show you how to make at least two sizes of rosettes. And by the time you see me make the rosettes, you'll have the process down and you'll be able to make these as often as you want. So let's get started. So the process for making rosettes is the same, but the difference is how wide is the paper that you're using. So for this one I used one inch strips and this is the size that we would get. For this one I used two inch strips and this is the size rosette that I get. You can use as large of a piece as you want or as small of a piece. You can space these at every half inch, every quarter inch, every three quarters of an inch. It's completely up to you but what I will be using today is I will be doing two rosettes. One using a two inch by 12 inch strip and one using a one by 12 inch strip. So I have my two by 12 inch strip in on the 12 inch side and all we do guys is we score at every half inch and that's what I'm doing on mine to get the look that you see on the rosettes that I showed you earlier. So we're gonna score this at every half inch all the way up to 12. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in my one inch piece and just go ahead and score it while I have the scoreboard out at every half inch. So I've already scored a portion and I'm going to go ahead and finish it out with you guys on camera. And again, this sheet is one by 12 and I'm scoring at every half inch. Okay, so I have already done one in the accordion fold. And when I did it, I started this one folding up. So on this one, my first fold, I want to fold it down and then I will accordion fold the rest all the way across. Just like this. So you can come back and just squeeze to get it a little bit tighter. And now you're going to have two pieces one that has it going down, one that has it going up, and we're going to join this. So what I'm going to do is, you can do this with hot glue, I'm going to do it with my wet glue. So I'll come back with my glue, and I'm just going to place some glue down, and then I'll bring this piece in and just join it. Okay, so once we have the two pieces joined together, we are going to join the whole thing together. So we will bring it over end to end, we're going to add some glue. We'll take this piece and we will get this stuck down and joined together. Everybody does this part differently and everybody has a technique that works for them. This is the technique that works for me, especially when I'm working with one that is as wide as this. So I'm going to stand it up just like this and all I'm going to do is take my hand and press down. So I'll do that one more time, standing it up just like this I'll take my hands in and just press it down. And now you can see I have a rosette. So I'm going to flip it over, come back with my glue, and I am going to place glue around that center circle. Then I'm going to come back with just a scrap piece of paper and place that paper down, and I'll hold it until the rosette is completely dry. I don't want it shifting. So once it's dry, I can flip it over and have it look like this. And at this point, you can decorate this however you want. So what I have decided is I'm going to start with the circle in the middle, but what I want to do, because it's just a sticker, I want to mount it to something of substance. So I'm going to mount it to this piece of chipboard then I'm going to come back with my hot glue and place my glue 
right there in the middle. And now I can place this down and it's going to be pretty sturdy. And now I want to dress this one up just a little bit more. So I am going to take one of my beautiful green bows, place just a little glue on the back and stick this right in the center. And you can see what a difference that makes on that. So now I have this beautiful, beautiful rosette that's perfect in the place of a standard traditional bow. This will look great. All right, so we've made this one using two inch wide by 12 inches long. And now we're going to make the smaller one using one by 12. And I have already scored this. So again, I have this end piece pointing down. So I want to start my second piece going up. So all I'm doing is according and folding this. And then when I get it like this, I'll come back and just give it a nice little squeeze to get my creases all nice and tight. But what I am going to do again is I am going to join my two strips. So I'll do the same thing that I did with the first one. I am going to join the two pieces to create one long piece and then I'll join the end pieces to create my circle. And just like that, I've got my form ready to be turned into a rosette. So again, all I have to do is press down on it, squeeze it just like that. And as you can see, I've got my rosette. So I'm just gonna flip this over because this time, this will be the back and the reindeer will be the front. So I'm going to place down my little glob of glue and I'll take this bare piece of paper and just place it on there until my rosette dries. Okay, so now you can see I have this really cute little rosette. And again, I want to take a center and place it here, but I am going to first mount it to this piece of chipboard and I'll place some glue on the chipboard. I'll take the chipboard and place it on the back of my sticker. This is just giving me added stability because I'm using basically a flimsy sticker. And then when I put that down right there, I'll come back with my glue, place my glue down, and then I can place my little sticker right here and on this one I also want a bow so I am going to use gold on this one place just a little bit of glue come back and get this stuck down and guys if you have never made a rosette before it is as easy as I just showed you so start out with some scrap paper and just practice 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 until you get the rosette look that you like, but you can make these in all different sizes depending on the width. So if you want one larger than this, but smaller than this, try a one and a half by 12 inch piece of paper scored every half inch. Or if you want one larger, go with a three inch piece of paper. It's all up to you and how you want them to look. But I'm going to bring these back in and you can see just how wonderful these are. And these are going to look great on my Christmas gifts. So I hope that you guys will give making these a try. And if you do, I hope that you have fun making them. It's all about fun and crafting, guys. Just keep practicing, 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 and I promise you, you will be a rosette making expert in no time. So y'all have a great day. Happy crafting, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.